Portrait Artist of the Year, The Inside Scoop. Let's get started. So I had the opportunity, oh, please leave us a thumbs up and please subscribe. I had the opportunity to talk to two people who have been participating in the program. So we're going to talk about that. This is a special thank you to Glenn Williams and his daughter, Harriet Brady. Now on the program, Harriet Brady participated in the 2023 program, which is not available yet in the United States. And she competed under her maiden name as Harriet Williams. This the season she participated in was season 10, 2023. So here she is. Glenn sent me these photos. So this must be the photo that we're going to see on the program when we get to see it aired. She looks like a very strong participant to me. I'm excited for her. So this is, this is what happens when you get there. There she is. Her father was there to watch her. And like I said, he's uh, in the application process now for 2024. And he's a very excellent painter as well. And so you can see the setup, and we're going to talk about that some more. And here's another painting of hers. So she's very able to do the job. And uh, so I think it's going to be, um, I, I'm so excited to see her episode. The, I'm trying to figure out how I can. But so far, I'm, I'm just hitting a wall. But I, I will figure it out. So now let's take a look at uh, our two judges. Who Dame J Joan Blackwell and Stephen Manigan. Dame, Dame Joan Blackwell is a television presenter, and Stephen Manigan is known for his comedy for the most part. He, I've seen him in a, a lot of different series. He's very, very good. She said both of them were charming and lovely and friendly. Now, I'm going to show a picture of them in front of the wall, and I don't show this in my recaps, but after I show you the picture of the participants with their uh, with the portraits that they have for uh, submitted for the program. The next segment that I don't show is when the judges look at their individual portraits on, on this wall and they discuss them aloud. Now, while they're discussing them aloud, the participants, as Harriet told me, are have already started painting. So you are able to hear their comments about your work and other people's work while you're in the process of getting acclimated to this incredible situation of painting a celebrity model within four hours. So that's very interesting to me. This is another shot to show. There's always a crowd that is circulating around. There is a circle um, that's cut up in, in thirds. And so there are three models and each model has three painters painting them. But it's done within a circular environment. So there are constantly people milling around and walking behind you. And you get a feel for that here. And of course, that's going to affect what you hear as people walk behind you and might make comments about what you're doing, it also is going to have an effect on um, sound. I mean, look at look at the crowd there. There's got to be quite a bit of noise and chatter going on. So that would be a challenge as well. Also, what we get to see here are some of the lights. There is no natural light. So the program is, is careful to have an even playing field. So the lighting is very good. But you got to remember, too, these are television lights, and there are cameras around, and television lights can be very, very hot, and temperature becomes a factor. Now, the only painter judge that we have is Ty Scherenberg. Oh, I probably pronounced that terribly. But I wanted to show an example of his paintings, and you can find them very easily by Googling. You know, he's a fine painter, but, um, but I think we've seen some painters who are equal to him, if not uh, above his skill set in this program. Uh, the other judge is Kathleen Soriano. She is an art curator, so she's going to purchase art, and she's going to know the marketing of art, but she is not a painter. And we've talked about that before, that um, many of us would like to see three painters be the judges, but that's not the case. And the third judge is uh, Kate Bryan, and she is an art historian. So again, not a painter, but Harriet uh, Williams, or Brady, as she is now, said that they are all very lovely and supportive, and you know that means a lot when you're trying to do a creative endeavor in a very nerve-wracking environment. Now here are the judges looking at those portraits, so that's what I was referring to, that she could hear them talking about 
the portraits. And while they were talking about her, she took note, and it even changed the direction of how she was going to paint what she does, what she had to paint today. She said that you do not have a choice of model, you do not have a choice of position. What you do have a choice about, though, and there you can really see the television lights, is you do have a choice of what kind of easel you want to have, standing or sitting. You have a choice of a side table. And as we've talked about in a different video, you are able to bring technology. Now what happened for Harriet on her particular day is the internet was not working. And that would have sent me into an absolute panic. And she said it was a, a pretty difficult moment. I'm inserting this here because she said that she also, during the program, you're interviewed something like six to eight times. They're very short snippets when we're watching the program, but see how it interrupts your flow? All of a sudden you've got to stop and you know have a little bit of a conversation. So I found that very interesting as well. Now we're back to the setup and you can see the circular setup and how crowded it can be. And so in those four hours, it's broken up into two parts, two hours that you work, then there's a lunch break and then two more hours. And you also can uh, do some work during your lunchtime. Here we go, another interview. See how that interrupts the flow? So I just putting that for a little bit of humor and let you know that that, that that that's going to happen if you're in the program, as I'm, as it's happening to me as I narrate. I did that purposely. So um, she said that, you know, she was pretty nervous in the morning and then got centered at lunchtime and then put her headphones on for the afternoon. And her father, Glenn, shared that, yes, he could see the change in her body language in the afternoon, that she was relaxed and in the zone. But, you, you know, so many challenges in terms of noise, temperature, interruptions, and, and who knows what else, right? So I, I'm amazed at that. She did share that the night before, she was not nervous, and she has some experience with television, so she was not nervous about being on television, but, but shared that uh, there you can really see the television lights, so it's going to be really hot. So, But she did share that... Um, Oh gosh, what was I going to say? Oh, she did share that she had nightmares the night before and did not sleep very well. And I think that must be the case for many people. Another interruption. See how it happens? So just put yourself in that headspace. You know, if someone knocks on my studio door when I'm really in the flow, boy, it's like being yanked out of a dream. It's, it's very disorienting. So um, I think that's the challenge I related to the most in, the, in, in, in hearing the juicy scoop of what happens if you are a participant in this program. And so with a parting shot to the program, there you get a full idea of the lighting for the artists as well as the lighting for the um, participants. I also then took the opportunity to watch an episode. You know, I watched the episodes without listening to the judges. I continue to not do uh, to not listen to the judges. But, um, but I did watch the entire episode with the sound off and was way more aware of the cameras as they swoop in close to the participants and as they move out. And you just don't notice it when they're, when they're actually, um, when you watch the program, it's, it's beautifully edited. But thank you to Glenn and Harriet. I'm so appreciative. I had so many pressing questions and, and I know I'm gonna have more. And I hope you found this helpful because it's a little window into uh, the world that, that we're enjoying sharing. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.